again my first video i filmed was doing a mermaid dress involved this dress right here so you guys can see so the bottom has a seam at the knee and i made i used this using the front circle skirt pattern twice so there's no train for this dress she did not want to train so now I'm going to show you with the current dress that we're working on now. Okay, hey guys, so I started actually filming this video with this blue dress that's currently on the mannequin. Let me show you. So if you can see her, I started filming it with her on cutting that out as uh, how to cut out the mermaid circle skirt part, the bottom. So this video will be only about how I am cutting out the bottom. So right now this is about four yards. And I cut, I have a yard cut out all the way over there. That's the top of my dress. So this is only the bottom of the dress. So again, our pattern measures 35 inches. And then it just happened that this is perfectly 35 inches here too. So this is gonna be perfect for our person. Um, her measurement. Let's get her measurements to the floor. Our client is, her measurements from knee to floor is 22. So if you guys noticed our measurements, so that's on my measuring tape. I'm not prepared for this video here. Here we go. Boom. So from knee to floor on our pattern, it's about 30 inches. But this is 30 and a half. So, it's perfect. So, hers is 22, so that means that leaves us room for heels. So, just like that. So, now we're going to cut this out. So, again, a lot of the patterns say on one side, on fold. So, you can do it on the fold. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just leave it as is. So, when I cut this out, if I don't do it on fold, it'll be, it'll pretty much have four seams. I kind of would rather have it on the fold, so that just means right here. If this was if this was folded in half, that's what that means on the fold. So instead, what I do is if I don't feel like having it or folding it, I'll just do this and then I'll fold it over this way, as if there was a secret fold here, a, a secret line that would be the fold if this fabric was folded in half. So I'm just going to cut it out like this, make sure this measures up very well. So we're going to have this, we're going to cut all of this out here, here, then we're going to flip it over and continue cutting here and all the way around. Then we have uh, also this fabric, mm, I think I do want to have a train on here. So watch what I do. This is just my way of doing it, not on the fold. I can cut this out. Actually, let me just do it that way. Let me cut this down. One on the fold, the other one on the fold. So that was an option. If you if you don't want to do it on the fold, that's your option to just roll it over. But I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do it on the fold, just so you guys can see the right way to do it. Again, I already have the top of her dress cut out over here. So, just gonna show you guys how to do the circle skirt part. Cutting this all the way down. And then I'll work it one side at a time. So we're not gonna work with this first. I'm gonna fold this in half.
Boom. So this is now our fold. This is the fold right here. So we're going to take our pattern and place it on the fold. Either side, doesn't matter. Just like this. One side on the fold. Just like that. Okay, so you see that that is placed on the fold. And now we're going to cut it up. And we'll cut the other one out. The other one, it'll be the same. Your other pattern is short like this and then it comes down long. So that means the train will be this end part right here. We'll cut it all the way from here and then match it up with the short part on the other side. I'm just cutting the top layer just because it's easier on my scissors and go back and cut the bottom. Now, say for instance, your person is taller. Of course, you need more than four yards because then this would have to fold out a little bit more that way. Um, and you have the pattern. You'll just take and say how many ever inches more she is and add a few. Say for instance, two inches is add two inches all the way around here. Boom. No problem. If your person is a little thicker, you'll just cut a little bit more of this out, which means you'll have to bring that down as well. So that is wide enough for their knee opening. And then I'll just cut the salvage over after. Okay, so let's cut the bottom, the back out, the train part. This is just extra fabric. Hopefully I'm able to use for something else. So we'll save it. You never know when you need it. Let's take our other piece and put this on the fold. I'm grabbing my back piece, the one with the longer end and the shorter end. See one end is short. I'm gonna line our short end up over here. And then our long end on the fold. So the long end is on the fold of the back of the circle skirt. See? Long end, short end. 
Okay, let's drag this a little bit closer. Okay, so now with this, so you can make the train as long as your heart desires. So for me, you see it ends right here. I'm gonna take it all the way right there because why not? If they don't want it, I'll cut it off. Doesn't matter to me. So this matches up with the front. So this is the back. On another note, if your client does not want to train, she just wants the full circle skirt bottom, you just use two of the front ones. So instead of me using this one again, I'll use the, the first one that I used. And it'll just be a full circle skirt, no train. But here we're going to just do a train. As soon as I find my scissors. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to take mine all the way from back here. Let's make sure you can see. Yep. Okay, so I'll take mine all the way from back here. And I'm going to taper it in. If I didn't want this long, I'll just cut it like that. So I'm going to taper it into our pattern. Maybe I'll turn the rest of the fabric into a bathing suit. Put some lining and some bias tape around the edges so it's not so itchy. I don't know yet though. Alright, that's that. Here's our extra fabric again. Let's put it with the rest of the extra fabric and fold our patterns back up for later. Um, oh yeah, cut this piece. Trash, you can't use that for anything. And then I'll cut the uh, salvage off. I'll use leave a little bit there so that when I attach it to the front, we're not sewing on top of the sequin. That's just my little thing. So hopefully that helps a little bit. And I can use whatever I just threw over there for bias tape for the inside. So I'm probably going to keep that so that the inside of it isn't itchy on the client, on the seam. So this is our back. Let's sweep this floor. And this is our front. Fold our patterns back up. Let me cut this off here so I can use that. circle skirt now I'm going to make the front the top of the dress and then I'll come back and show you guys how I sew everything together but for the most part so you can visually see what's going on this is like this oh then that's the top front of the dress and then we attach that to the back of the dress with the train just like that we attach two seams one seam here one seam there and you have a full circle skirt then that's our opening just like that okay this is what she looks like right now without her bottom done i've had a few people ask about the um burgundy velvet dress when i added the elastic to make the opening in the back tighter um i'll try and get a video to you guys for that but it's just adding the elastic in the back and the whole thing just kind of cinches in. So that'll happen. Also, my client is slightly bigger than my mannequin so I've had to pin it just for aesthetic purposes of the video. But yeah, that's why some things look a little big. But she's just a little bit bigger than the mannequin. All right, let's add this bottom on. So pretty. So that's what it looks like. Our mermaid skirt bottom with the train. Super pretty. 
pretty. Sparkle is absolutely gorgeous.